Lawyer for Republican Representative Mike Nierman appeared for a hearing at the Marion County Courthouse that Nierman faces two charges related to letting protesters into the Oregon Capitol building. You might recall that happened back in December. Our Liz Birch joins us now live from the federal courthouse here in downtown Portland. Liz, this is all interesting because Nierman was the lawmaker who wanted to move the federal courthouse out of Portland because of violent protests. Jeff, exactly. Now, ironically, the charges he faces are surrounding what violent protesters did at the state capitol in Salem. Images from the January 6th insurrection in Washington, D.C. are still seared into the minds of people across America. But weeks before that, a violent mob stormed the Oregon Capitol during a special session with lawmakers inside. Representative Mike Nierman now faces charges of first degree official misconduct and second degree criminal trespass for opening the door of the Capitol building to far right protesters on December 21st. This video coin obtained shows those moments. In January, House Speaker Tina Kotek called for Nierman's resignation, stripped him of his committee assignment, rescinded his commission appointment, and billed him $2,000 for the damage protesters did when they entered the building. From the House floor, Nierman read a statement agreeing to safety measures. I represent of Nierman voluntarily agreed to the following interim safety measures. I will not allow any non-authorized personnel into the Capitol. Today, a lawyer represented Nierman in court at his arraignment. Outside of court, his supporters in Salem said he shouldn't resign. Well, I, th I think that uh, his efforts that day that is in question today with regard to the arraignment is one that uh, applies to uh, making an effort to open the doors to uh, the people who wanted to gain access to those meetings that day. But a crowd of counter protesters was also there and they're calling on Nierman to step down. When Mike Nierman opened the Capitol doors on December 21st to armed protesters, he endangered the lives of everyone inside. And while Representative Nierman has his day in court, the unrest in Oregon appears to be far from over. The way that Mike Nierman can make this up to the Oregon people is to resign. And if he won't resign, then he needs to be expelled. And if he isn't expelled, then we will recall him. I did reach out to Representative Nierman's lawyer. I, he told me he does not have comment at this point. Of course, we'll let you know if that changes. Live in Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. Liz, thanks. And Coin 6 is the only news organization with the video we reference, and it shows what Nierman did after opening the door and exposed the Capitol's defenses. It's interesting video. Dan Tilken is here to take you through that confrontation, Dan. Yeah, a lot of the feedback we've gotten on social media, and people looked at the video of Nearman opening the door and said, it's likely he didn't know what he was doing. Well, investigators certainly didn't agree, and you can judge for yourself. This is how the day ended. Right-wing protesters and direct confrontation with police inside the Capitol. This is how they got to that point. After Representative Mike Nierman opened the door, allowing people inside, the surveillance video shows Nierman walked around the corner to where a crowd had gathered at the west entrance. Nierman interacted with several protesters and walked through the crowd. Two minutes after Nierman opened the door, he walked west away from the Capitol and out of view. By then, the protesters flowed steadily towards the open door. Meanwhile, on the south side of the Capitol, four minutes and 36 seconds after he opened the door to protesters, you can see Nierman appear on the sidewalk. He took out his security pass to unlock the door and re-enter the Capitol where the House continued to be in session. Back at the door he opened, rioters tried to force their way into the Capitol. Go, man, go! At least one person used bear spray on the officers. Another hit them with the flag. Police retreated into the building, protecting a set of double glass doors. Then came the final confrontation. When a man yanked open the doors, police used some sort of mace or pepper spray to repel the crowd. That man who yanked open the door, he faces charges, and the charges against Nearman 
are only misdemeanors, not felonies. And Jeff, he's due back in court at the end of June.